on the Oklahoma City Studios of Great Entertainment. It's time to play Wild Card. Brought to you by Bob Mills Furniture. Here's the host of Wild Card, Ed Murray. And welcome to Wild Card, a game of chance, a game of knowledge on just about everything that could earn you thousands of dollars in great prizes. Brandon, our two-time champion, is halfway there. $500 from Bob Mills Furniture. And Brandon, you're back for your third time. From Moore, here to go against you. One of your city mates, Preston. Also from Moore in the middle is John. He is from Oklahoma City. Good luck, gentlemen. The rules are simple. Correct answers earn points. Incorrect answers lose points. Point values increase in each round. And if our players select a wild card, point values for that question double. And there are jokers in the deck. Jokers can give points. They can take points away. The final round includes one 400-point question and a decision to play or pass using that final wild card. Could lead to a lot of fun. Brandon didn't even have to play a wild card the first time. And in his last game, he had to have the double points. And he found it. And Brandon, you're back for a third time. John Preston, we have a five-minute round, 14 questions. Whichever comes first, our returning champion, Brandon, we ask you to give us the first card. King of Diamonds, please. King of Diamonds is AKA, also known as. What is the nickname for Arizona State University? Brandon. Sun Devils. Yeah, Sparky is their mascot. They were the Bulldogs till 1946. And the student body voted to change them to Sun Devils. <laughs> Brandon, 100 points. Pick a card. Four of Diamonds. Four of Diamonds is television. What Looney Tune was a fast-moving, spinning character from Brandon. Tasmanian Devil. From down under the Tasmanian Devil, born in 1954. This shows off to a devilish start. His Sun Devils <laughs> and Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Crowd's turning on me. Brandon, 200 points. Pick three, a card. Three of spades, please. Three of spades. Let's move on quickly. Business. This is a choice question. Give you three answers. One of them is correct. Turkey, Panama, Malaysia. Banana Republic opened a store. John. Panama. In which country considered to be a banana republic? Panama is the correct response. A definition, by the way, Central American country with an unstable political system that relies on one cash crop. That's Panama. John, 100 points. Pick a card. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Geography. What U.S. city has a higher population than 39 of the 50 states? Preston. New York City? Yeah, population of 8.4 million. That's larger than all states but New Jersey, North Carolina, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Florida, New York, Texas, and California. Preston, 100 points. John, 100. Brandon, 200. Everybody off to a good start. Preston, pick a card. Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Wild card. 200 points. Whoever gets it right is our leader. Arts, the category. Which performance art acts out a story through gestures? Preston. Ballet. That's incorrect. John. Pantomime. Mime. Pantomime. That's what we're looking for. The facial expressions and body motions without the use of speech. John at 300 points. The new leader now. Pick a card. Jack of hearts. Jack of hearts is an instant there winner. Go. Good time to get control of the board. You're headed to Quail Springs Mall. $25 for a Who Hot Mongolian Grill. Yours to enjoy. Everybody plays the question in the news. What Italian fashion designer was shot dead in July? John. Versace. 1997, Miami Beach by Andrew Cunanan. George, uh, Gianni Versace. By the way, a South Beach, Miami mansion sold at auction last year for $41.5 million. John, 400 points, a 200 point lead. Pick a card. Four of clubs. Four of clubs. We have history. What president was assassinated on November 22nd? Preston. JFK. The year was 1963. President John F. Kennedy, you're back to zero now. Out of that negative, pick a, a card, please. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds in the news. New evidence shows which actress of Eight Mile and King of the Hill, Brandon. Kim Basinger. That's incorrect. Died from heavy metal poisoning in 2009. Eight Mile and King of the Hill died in 2009. Brittany Murphy. Yeah, you knew it, Diana, yeah. after I said it. Yeah. Her a film, Something Wicked, her last film she worked on will actually be released this year, five years after her death. All right, uh, Preston, you should have control of the board. Pick a card. King of Clubs. King of Clubs. Wild card. Nice selection. 200 points for this question in science. What kinds of animals are held in an aviary? Brandon. Birds. Birds. Yeah, that's what's in an aviary. Brandon, you're up to 300. You're 100 behind John. Pick a card. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds is miscellaneous. What is the birthstone for July? 
birthstone for July. Yeah, no one's going there. Ruby is what it is. All right, uh, Brandon, another card, Queen please. Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds is literature. What 1949 George Orwell novel takes place in the dystopian society of... Brandon. 1984. Of Airstrip One, which is the novel's name for Britain in the alternate world. Up to 400. John and Brandon tied for the lead. Uh, Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Movies. Who played Scarlet in the film Gone with the Wind? Who played Scarlet? Brandon. O'Hara? That is incorrect. I believe O'Hara was Scarlet's last name. Apparently, y'all don't give it on oh, their mind. Uh, Vivian Lee. Vivian <laughs> Lee played Scarlet. Uh, she won one of eight Oscars for that 39 film, five other nominations. Brandon, you still have control of the board. Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts is sports. What collegiate conference has mascots of the Big Green, the Crimson, and the Quakers? Brandon. Ivy League. Everybody got it on Quakers. I saw the buttons. Dartmouth, Harvard, and Penn are those colleges. Brandon, you're back tied with John. Pick a card. Seven of spades. Seven of spades. This will be the final question, and it is a wild card. You got to all 14 questions. Business for 200 points. What fast food chain is known for its advertisements with cow saying, John? Chick-fil-A. And what do those cows say? Eat, eat. Eat, eat. No, eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. That's all right. You got the question right. 600 points. <laughs> yeah. The cows say eat beef. Yeah. Okay. Uh, campaign began in 1995. John, that gets you the lead. 600 points. Brandon, our two-time champ at 400. Preston, right where you started, but that can change quickly in the next round because we're going to double the point values. Two jokers could make an appearance. Stay with us on Wild Card. Nestled in the mountains of northwest Arkansas, minutes from Eureka Springs is Spider Creek Resort. Secluded on 50 acres, our cabins from studios to three bedrooms all have fully equipped kitchens and outdoor grills. Spider Creek is a home away from home for families, fishermen, and groups of all sizes. Enjoy hiking, float the crystal clear waters of the white or fish for trout. Our full service fly shop will address all your equipment, food, and beverage needs. Spider Creek Resort, your home in the mountains. Get into something good, like Brahms Caramel Brownie Sunday. Get into something good. Get into something good. Delicious fudge brownies, fresh from Brahms Bakery. Two big dips of Brahms Premium Vanilla Ice Cream. Lots of sweet hot caramel, toasted almonds, whipped cream, and a cherry. Now you've got something good. A double dip caramel brownie sundae. Only at your neighborhood Brahms. Get into something good. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay are everywhere. They're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. One call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. They lower his rate and consolidate his bills into one low payment. Consolidated Credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call now. Call Consolidated Credit at 1-800-432-3043. I'm Dr. Angie, and as a doctor of chiropractic, people often ask me why I'd become associated with Bob Mills Sleep Spa, and the answer is easy, to help people. I have the privilege of using my knowledge of the human body and the exclusive technology of BedMatch to profile your back and find the right mattress for correct support. People suffering from lower back pain, hip pain, even acid reflux have reported noticeable relief. That's the reason I'm here. I'm Bob Mills. Now who's got your back? A killer who may have found the perfect deception, hiding his murders in the suicides. He was trying to kick his way out of the car. Of more than willing victims. A matchmaking service for suicides. Law and order, criminal intent. Tonight at 7 on My Network TV. The rich and powerful take what they want, we take it back. We provide leverage. Wednesday on My KSBI. And welcome back to Wild Card. John, our challenger, gets the final question of that round. Has the lead, 600. Brandon at 400, our two-time champion. Preston right now at zero. That could change, though, with one wild card in the next round. Preston, tell us a bit more about you. I teach English at Highland East Junior High, right down there and more. All right, outstanding, and thank you for serving our children in that capacity. We appreciate it. 
Uh, good luck the rest of the way here on Wildcard. John, a little bit about you. Uh, about a year and a half ago, my wife, Vanessa, of eight years, we moved to Oklahoma City, so we're new transplants. Uh, where'd you come from? From DFW. All right, very nice. Now, I love it when Texans finally, Oklahoma's a place to be. Yeah. Uh, well, good luck the rest of the way here. Brandon, you've won it both kinds of ways yep. with the knowledge racing out. Uh, how was heart stopping? Was that last one uh, way by the last car killer. turn? Killer. <laughs> But you can do it anyway, so never panic, no matter where you're at in the game. Preston, that includes you. In third place here as we enter round number two, it's another five-minute round, 14 questions. Whichever comes first, and Preston, as in third place, we ask you to get us started with a card. Uh, ten of spades. Ten of spades is music. What boy band features the members Donnie Wahlberg, Brandon? You kids on the block. You knew that one very quickly. Danny Wood, <laughs> Jordan Knight, Jonathan Knight, and Joey McIntyre. Number three all-time charting boy band behind Backstreet Boys and Boys to Men. Brandon ties John for the lead at 600. Pick a card. Five diamonds, please. Five of diamonds is literature. This 1939 novel by John Steinbeck was set, Preston. Grapes of Wrath. During the Great Depression and focuses on the Joad family. The Grapes of Wrath won him a Pulitzer Prize. Also really led to a Nobel Prize in 62 as well. Preston, you're on the board. Positive side, 200 points. Pick a card. Nine of spades. Nine of spades, a.k.a. also known as, in regard to sports, what does the ACC stand for? Brandon. Atlantic Coastal Conference. Yeah, founded. Here we go with that, Judge. Atlanta Coastal Conference. Judge is thinking about it. Judge is going to give it to you. The judge will give it to you. Atlantic Coast Conference is uh, founded in 1953 with seven members. South Carolina, the only one not still there. All right, Judge gave you the thumbs up. So, Brandon, you have 800 points. Pick a card. The King of Hearts. King of Hearts is science. The larynx is more commonly known by this name. Brandon. Voice box. It is home to the vocal cords, the part of the body used to make sounds, the voice box. Brandon, two in a row now, up to a 1,400 point lead. Pick a card. Five hearts, please. Five of hearts is arts. Although Matthew's gospel is first in the New Testament, most Bible scholars believe whose gospel was written first. Preston. Mark. Mark it is. Mark. The other three are all very common together. Mark's a little different than the rest. I believe the author used the teachings of his friend Peter to write the book of Mark. Preston, 400 points. John, 600. Brandon, 1,000. Good match. Preston, pick a card. Ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds is movies. In what Disney film does an American Indian fall in love? Preston. Pocahontas. With an Englishman. Pocahontas, that 95 film, won two Oscars, both for the music in the film. Preston ties John. 400 out of the lead. Pick a card. Eight of spades. Eight of spades is an instant winner. This is another of our merchant friends from Penn Square Mall. $25 to the walking company, which is uh, fine uh, shoes, uh, walking, running shoes. The walking company, yours to keep. Everybody plays the question. Math. What is the next prime number after seven? Preston. Eleven. Eight, nine, and ten all have multiple positive divisors. Eleven, the next prime number. Preston, 800. What a match now. You're just 200 out of the lead. Pick a card. Four of hearts. Four of hearts is a wild card. What a time for one. 400 points. Whoever gets it right is the leader. Music. First sung by Eartha Kitt in 1953. What sultry Christmas song has been redone by Madonna, RuPaul, and Miss Piggy? Preston. Santa Baby. Santa Baby. Yeah, all she wants are furs, a yacht, a new convertible, and a platinum mine. Preston takes the lead. 1,200 points from third to first in this round. Pick a card. Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades in the news. What are the two main political parties in the United States? Brandon. Republican and Democrat. They it's are. Those are the two parties. Uh, Brandon ties Preston for the lead at 1,200. John at 600. Brandon, pick a card. Six of hearts. Six of hearts is math. A normal stop sign has the shape of what geometrical figure? Preston. Octagon. Eight-sided polygon is an octagon. Brand Preston retakes the lead from Brandon. Take a card. Preston. Uh, sorry, uh, ace of hearts. Ace of hearts is movies. What follows? Look. Up in the sky, it's Brandon. A bird, a plane, uh, Superman. Superman, first version of the phrase on radio in the 1940s. Brandon and Preston back and forth, tied for the lead again. Pick a card, Brandon. Three of diamonds. Three of diamonds is TV. Named for one of its older neighborhoods, 
Treme is an HBO series primarily set in which U.S. city? HBO series, Treme. New Orleans, it's that neighborhood just a few blocks from the French Quarter. Brandon, pick a card. Jack of uh, Clubs. Jack of Clubs is miscellaneous. What is the Spanish word for house? John. Casa. Casa, or each, actually Hogar is home. We could have taken either one, but Casa uh, is house. John closes the gap with that last response. Brandon and Preston tied for the lead at 1,400. John right behind at 800. It's coming down to a fantastic finish. Round three coming up next on Wild Card. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Wild Card after these messages. But in the meantime, play along at home by visiting our Facebook page. And if you think you've got what it takes to play Wild Card, just visit our website, fill out the registration form, and we'll notify you of upcoming open auditions. More in game excitement after the break. We get it. You're busy. Work, kids, life. And you need a car to get everyone everywhere they need to go. The last thing you need is to come to a dealership and fill out paperwork. And what about explaining your bad credit situation again and again? Now you don't have to. Just go to thekeyonline.com and complete your application from home. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once approved, you can pick your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. The Key. Cars. Loans. Life. Does the sun make your deck or patio so hot you can't enjoy it? Poor thing, she's really hot. Or have you struggled to create shade with an ordinary patio umbrella? Are you stuck inside on beautiful sunny days? Well, now you can create a beautiful shady oasis with a Sunsetter retractable awning. It cools down your deck or patio and protects you from damaging sun exposure. Call now for this free idea kit with this $200 savings certificate, DVD, and information-packed brochure. It takes less than a minute to open or close your Sunsetter. Watch how it begins to cool your deck or patio by as much as 20 degrees. Call now during the special TV offer and Sunsetter will send you a $200 savings certificate. Choose the ultra convenient motorized model for push button ease or the manual model. Both are available in a wide variety of sizes and beautiful colors. They're very affordable and built to last right here in the USA. It's no wonder they're America's best selling retractable awnings. Why wait when in no time at all you can be enjoying your deck or your patio in the cool, refreshing Sunsetter shade? I love Sunsetter awnings. You will too. It creates a great place to spend quality time or entertain friends and family. The best part is that I am cool and comfortable even on the hottest days of the year. Call right now for this valuable $200 savings certificate so you can start making the most of your deck or patio. Life is better under a sunsetter. Call now. Call 1-800-230-7563 for your free awning idea kit with a $200 savings certificate. Contact information for your local dealer, DVD, brochure, and price list. Call 1-800-230-7563. A money-saving $200 certificate is yours for calling. Call now and save. Next time in Oklahoma Live, Joy Rose visits another great patio in Oklahoma City and we'll have another cooking segment with Oklahoma Natural Gas. We'll see you at four. Welcome back to Wild Card. We have an outstanding match in progress. Our two-time champion, Brandon, 1400, but our challenger, Preston, also with 1400. John is just one wild card away from tying. He has 800. John, you are in third. We're going to ask you to get us started. Four-minute round, 11 questions. 300 points, 600 for wild cards, could be a 900 point joker. Good luck everyone, John pick a card. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Gives us a wild card right off the bat. John can tie for the lead. Television. What was the name of the teenage witch with a show? Preston. Sabrina. By the same name that debuted September 1996, Sabrina, seven seasons, starring Melissa Joan Hart. Preston takes the lead now, 2,000 points. Pick a card. Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds, AKA, also known as. During the Revolutionary War, 
What was the colorful nickname for the British soldiers? Brandon. Redcoats. Redcoats. They were also known as lobster backs or bloody backs. Uh, they had a lot of nice little nicknames. Red dye, by the way, was the cheapest of the day. That's why they wore red coats. Brandon, 1700. Pick a card. Four of spades. Four of spades. Joker, and it's a bad joker. You had a couple of good ones your last game. This one takes 600 points. Gets John a little closer. You can get 300 of it back, though, Brandon. History. Who casts the deciding vote when the U.S. Senate ties on a bill? John. Speaker of the House. That's incorrect. When the U.S. Senate ties on a bill, Preston. Vice President. The Vice President is President of the Senate. He can only vote, though, if there is a tie. Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution. Preston expands his lead. 2,300. Pick a card. Five of spades. Five of spades. It's a wild card. 600 points coming up. John, you can get a lot of those points back right here. Sports, the category. What is it called in bowling when you knock all the pins, Preston? Strike. Down on the first ball of the frame. It's a strike. 2,900. Preston, pick a card. Six of spades. Six of spades. Arts. What is the last word in the Bible? Brandon. Amen. It is also usually the word to end a prayer. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. Ends the Bible. Brandon, 1,400 points. You're 1,500 out of the lead. Pick a card. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Science. What is the main substance in plant cell walls? A complex carbohydrate that gives the plant its structural. Preston. Chlorophyll. That's incorrect. It gives the plant its structural strength. John or Brandon? Cellulose is what that is. Oh, we gave you amen a minute ago. Brandon, pick a card. Uh, two of hearts. Two of hearts. History. Which president established the Secret Service? Which president established the Secret Service? Ironically enough, it was Abraham Lincoln. He established it to suppress counterfeiting. They didn't start protecting the president until 1902. All right, Brandon, you still control the board. Pick Seven a card. of hearts. Seven of hearts. Wild card. 600 points. Getting late in the match. Sports. What city is home to baseball's Zephyrs? Brandon. Denver. That's incorrect. Basketball's Pelicans and football's Saints. John. New Orleans. New Orleans. The New Orleans Zephyrs, their triple A team. John, 1,100 points. Pick a card. Uh, ten of hearts. Ten of hearts is music. Which singer has albums? No shoes, no shirt, no problems. John. Kenny Chesney. And Hemingway's Whiskey. Kenny Chesney, 14 of his 16 albums are gold. John, 1400, you're in second. Pick a card. Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. Literature. Who wrote The Catcher in the Rye? Brandon. J.D. Salinger. He did indeed. Up to 1100. Pick a card. Uh, Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Actually, pick it out. Six of Spades. Six of Clubs. I went or a little club, fast on you there. Six of Clubs is Matt. I went a little fast on you there. How many cups are in a quart? Brandon. Four. That is correct. Four quarts. Pick a card, Brandon. Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Business. This will be the final question of the round. What company's digital, digit, digitalized recordings of Elwood Edwards' voice told millions of people, you've got mail? And goodbye, John. AOL. AOL, American Online. It is Elwood Edwards' voice, very famous, and nobody really knows Elwood all that well. Preston is the leader, 2,600. John with that response in second, 1,700. Brandon, 1,400. Everybody's still in it because we have wild cards still to go. Wild card on the board. Behind those letters, we have values. The red ones are bad. The blue ones are very nice. Doubling your points would be nice about now. Turn them back over. We shuffle the deck. Preston, you have earned the right to select first. I'll go with D. D? Yes. Takes the D. John, you're in second. I'll go with W. He takes the W. Brandon, what letter? R. R. Gentlemen, we have one question left. It's worth 400 points. Zero in on the category miscellaneous. We will ask that question when we return on Wild Cards. Stay with us. This is your last chance to save 75% off Rockin' Body. If you want to shed the fat and sculpt your body to get that slim, sexy look of your dreams, then you need to stop working out. Say what? And start rocking out with Rockin' Body, the fun new body makeover system that takes the world's hottest dance moves and turns them into fast, fun, fat-burning routines so you don't even feel like you're working out. Like going to a club, you know, you're, you're, you're dancing, you're having fun, and you're actually getting results. 
I lost 33 pounds and 7 inches off my waist. I lost 30 pounds dancing. That's because Rock and Body was created by fitness expert and insanity creator Sean T. Sean's body rocking, calorie blasting, total body workout is everything you need to dance off pounds right in your own living room. Rock and Body combines dance and fitness in a fun new way so you can achieve insane weight loss. I danced my head off and I had a great time and now 24 pounds later, 30 inches overall, I'm a new person. The secret is Sean's easy to follow fun dance progressions designed to tone and tighten your abs, shrink and shape your hips and thighs, and lift and firm your booty. Sean T is incredible. Rock and body. I've lost 33 pounds. I feel sexy, you know? I feel good. And now, for a limited time, the complete $80 rock and body system is 75% off. Say what? That's right. Rock and Body is only $19.95, but only while supplies last. Call now and we'll even upgrade you to express shipping. Free. But it gets even better. We'll also include Sean's three-day slim down so you can lose five pounds and five inches in your first three days. And this $60 value is yours to keep no matter what. That's the complete Rock and Body system. Over $60 in bonuses and a free upgrade to express shipping, all for only $19.95. This offer won't last. Call 1-800-824-1094 or order online at rockandbody.com. That's 1-800-824-1094. Call now. You've worked hard all your life. Then you're diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer. What do you do? First, get the best medical care possible. Then call the number on your screen to receive the definitive source book on asbestos disease. And even if you're a smoker, you may be entitled to compensation since occupational exposure to asbestos dramatically increases your lung cancer risk. The experienced trial and product liability firm, Whites and Luxembourg, has prepared this valuable booklet. Whites and Luxembourg, we're here to help. Welcome back to Wildcard. Our two-time champion, Brandon, finds himself in third position this time at 1,400. John in second at 1,700. Preston leading the way at 2,600. Gentlemen, I have one final question. It's worth 400 points. You'll have 20 seconds to write down your response once I finish the question. Who sang the 2008 hit, Poker Face? Good luck. Groans from the audience on this one. Who sang the 2008 hit, Poker Face? Brandon is done. John is done. Preston working on it. You done, Preston? All right. Go ahead and put the pen down. Let's me know if everyone's ready to go. Here we go. Brandon, you're in third. We're going to reveal your response first. The singer of Poker Face. And you wrote down Lady Gaga. Is correct. Lady Gaga with Poker Face. You're up to 2200 now, or 1800. John, 1700. Right now you're in third. You need Lady Gaga. You got it. Also, a little high shout out to a couple of folks there. You're up to 2100. Preston, you need Lady Gaga. You're going to be the leader one way or the other. Just a question of the margin. We reveal Lady Gaga. So, all three gentlemen, new Poker Face. So, we still have the same spread. 3,000 for Preston, 2,100 John, 1,800 for Brandon. Brandon, you have the R. Would you like to hold it or play it? Oh, no, let's play. He plays it, trying for a third championship. John, you have the W. You're 900 out of the lead. Play or hold? Play it. He will play. Preston, they're both playing behind you. Your margin is 900 over John, 1,200 over Brandon. Play or hold? Hold. He's going to hold. The odds are right, right in the middle of good cards and bad cards. So, Brandon and John looking for blue. Preston's praying for red. Can I change my mind? Judge, he's, he's declared. Jo Judge, I think you've already no, declared. You've already okay. declared. Yeah, Brandon, you have the R. What's behind the R? The bust. So, you're going you're to end a two-time champion because Preston has the 3,000. John, there are three cards up there that are good, three cards that are bad. It's a 50-50 between Preston and John. Watch behind W. You lose 1,500. Preston, good thing you didn't change your mind. What was behind D? Behind the D? What was the D? Double your points. You took the big one off the board, and you were going to win one way or the other. Preston, you're the winner. $250 from Bob Mills Furniture, and you're coming back to defend your title. Brandon, you leave us a two-time champion. And, John, we hope you had a good time playing wild card. Great match, gentlemen. If you'd like to be a contestant, visit our website, ksbitv.com. Fill out the information. We'll be in touch with you. Hope to see you on Contestants Row. Thanks to our sponsors. Thank you for watching Wild Card. Good night.
Wild Card is brought to you by Bob Mills Furniture and Platt College and Hal Smith Restaurants.